So I would like to drill holes for the lower bearing mounts. They go approximately here and over here and the same thing on the other side. So what I thought I would do is take some bearings. So here, for example, if I would clamp one in place here with a vice grip and same thing over there and then remove this plate. These bolts are already loose. So I would like these bearings to sit flat on that plate. So I'm gonna give it some more vice grips. So if I had marked where I want to drill with a center punch, by the time I have that hole made, I think the margin of error could be considerably higher than having a bearing in place and fastened and then drilling through the bearing. So, but I can use these bearings again because I still have to make the holes for the other side. So I was thinking I could lay the bearing on the side that's not welded and then get that fastened on there on the other plate. So I think I should deburr these holes and uh, these welds are already ground off. So another thing that these pieces are supposed to do is control this type of motion when the machine is in operation. So the idea is that these pieces are going to be running alongside of the beam here. And the clearance is adjustable with these shims. So currently it's set up that there's a two per side. So there's two on this side and two go on this side. I will try to show the gap difference between the two sides on the front bearing. 
So this is the one that's tighter. So I've got a light back there. So the bearing is about in the middle of the screen and towards the top of that bearing there's a little bit of a gap there. Okay, so now I'll show this one. See there's quite a bit more gap there. Okay, so I'd like to see if I can fix that. So I added some weld to the bottom of both of these holes, so now the bolt doesn't fit. And what I'd like to do now is grind the top of the hole so that the, uh, the hole is going higher and then also grind the bottom a little bit to try and get it to fit and try and get a reasonably good fit with that bolt again, but with the idea of raising the bolt up higher on both of these and uh, which would raise the bearing as well.
So I'll put this piece back on now and see what happened. Okay, I've got that side back on. So this bearing, when I turn it, I think it's rubbing on this part of the beam. So I, I think this slack is gone. But this one, I think I've gone too far. So when I turn on this one, see it wants to move this. And, and I can force this one to spin. But it requires some effort. So I think I'm going to take this bolt out again and elongate that bolt hole just slightly on the bottom to lower it just a little. Okay, anyways guys, thanks for checking out another video.